previously on Underexposed. Come here, Steve. I'll make it better. Oh. 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 The Rip-Off by Celine uh, Healy. Oh, the new schedule? Oh, thanks, Katie. Uh, Beth just fell. I was just, uh... You are OK, aren't you? The Visitor by Julio Mansky. Wow, well, this sounds dreadful, but I cannot remember the last time I laid eyes on a copy of the Bible. No, I'm sorry. I don't think we can help you, do you? Please wait. Would you just check to see if you have one somewhere? I'm only asking that you'd have a quick look. If you don't, then I'll be on my way. Why do you always have to get us into these situations? Now we're missing our program. Oh, come on, dear. King of Hearts, Elgin Nodelman. Looks like I'm top dog now. What? No. I am. Well, that's me. What? I am. No, I'm in charge. The key to this method is multitasking. By cleverly Just undo it. Your partner, From Clinton Tan. Move the bra as you see fit. It can also buy you time in tricky situations, but make sure you are focused. Note: degree of difficulty and injury factor can be quite high. Welcome to Underexposed. I hope you're having a great night. I'm Naomi Davis and it's time for some varied movie making. They're only short, so great for short attention spans. Heaps of talent showcasing stellar creative ideas and terrific performances in a low to no budget situation. Let's take a look at what's on Underexposed tonight. Tonight on the show, A Cut Above. Sent in by Opie Sana Hazel. Did you do know that all the board members are waiting for you? They can wait. Oh, and Mr. Brady? He called. He said he needed to rush home. Something happened with his son. But he sent in his PA in for lunch instead, so. Well, do you want me to cancel the lunch appointment? You know what? Stuff it. I'm leaving. The Parts from filmmaker Darcy Mueller. The Wooden Thief from Alex Korsh. Dead End by Flora Giorgio. Yeah. I told you his shit's cut. What'd you get, needles? Oh, a fucking sugar rush. <laughs> fuck off. Oh, fucking. Well, go to Nam. Well, his shit's like way better. Oh, you know, you know Trev? Well, he was around here like a minute ago, needing someone to drive a van. 500. Oh, cash. Yeah, I'll you know. call him. Yeah, and no, I would, because like, he, was, he was hunting like real fast. Yeah. So, hey, before you piss off, give me Nam's number. Oh, it's it's uh, it's 0417. I'm gonna go, okay? But, oh, ring Trev. Yeah. That's it. And finally, made to order. Thanks to Jean Luc Syndicus.
Firstly, a cut above by Opie Sainer Hazel. Opie spent most of his life surrounded by cameras. His passion for the visual arts began with photography at Eltham High School, which gradually led to working with video cameras. He made his first short film in 1996, and during and after his final years in high school, Opie was involved with the underage, non-alcoholic and drug-free music show Fruit Bowl. This locally funded project was held in association with the government-run youth initiative Freezer. He completed a Bachelor of Arts degree in Multimedia at RMIT University and has worked as a freelance camera operator and sound technician on various TV shows and films. Opie's main focus is producing and directing TV commercials and music videos. Here is A Cut Above. No! No! Help! Ready? Five seconds! Oh, five? Yes! I think I can beat you ready? You're good. And no delays this time, Harris. Okay? You do know that all the board members are waiting for you. They can wait. Oh, and Mr. Brady? He called. He said he needed to rush home. Something happened with his son. But he sent in his PA in for lunch instead, so. Well, do you want me to cancel the lunch appointment? You know what? Stuff it. I'm leaving. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. We could have had dinner together. No, Adelaide, no. What are you doing, Harry? Nothing. Well, get out of my way. Did Harry show you his test? Yeah. I always thought he was going to be good with numbers. the spelling test.
with Harry's bedtime, Daddy. Night. Hello, Mr. Barlin speaking. Hi, Grandma. I am. Okay, it's Grandma. Oh, then you. Hi, Ruth, how are you? Yeah. You go off to bed, I'll be up in a moment. Have you told Harry about me yet? I don't even know her name. Carmen. What? Carmen. That's her name. Carmen. How long have you known? Since the day you were born. And you didn't tell me? to tell. She died while giving birth to you. There has to be more. I hardly know anything about her. There's got to be more. That's bullshit, Ruth. There has to be more. Charged your father by the hour. No. She was an actress. I'm not here. 
no día. Hey, why don't we go down to the beach house this weekend? Yeah. No. Not this week. How about next weekend? Yeah. It'll be perfect. My sister's coming down. You can both go with her then. Why can't you come, Dad? At least make some bloody effort.
That was a cut above, sent in by Opie Sainer Hazel. Coming up after the break, The Parts by Darcy Mueller. Hi, you're watching Underexposed Short Films. Darcy Mueller wrote, directed, and produced the next film, The Parts. Enough is enough, hey? That was the part. Thanks to Darcy Mueller. You're watching Underexposed. We'll be back shortly.
Welcome back to Underexposed. The Wooden Thief is a stop motion movie where a wooden figure and his assistant, Raymond Korsh, attempt to steal a valuable object from a person's house. This film is made with the assistance of the Albury City Council and Murray Arts Regional Arts Development Program. From Albury filmmaker Alex Korsh, who's only 14. What a cute film. The Wooden Thief from Alex Korsh. I can't believe he's only 14. What a bright future Alex has ahead of him. Great work, Alex. I'm very impressed. Time now for another ad break. Stay tuned to Underexposed. We'll be right back. Underexposed next film is Dead End, written, directed and produced by Flora Giorgio, starring Mick Monaco and Hayley Butcher. A desperate junkie, unaware of the consequences, accepts to take on a dangerous job. Joe's men will be on Dodge Street. They're not after a payout, they're looking for blood. You've got two hours, you hear me? Two hours, or you're dead meat. Yeah, sure boss. You going round it's fucked. Did he score from me again? Yeah. Well, I told you his shit's cut. What'd you get, needles? 
Oh, fucking sugar rush. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, fucking. Well, go to Nam. Well, his shit's like way better. Oh, you know, you know Trev? Well, he was around here like a minute ago, needing someone to drive a van. 500. Oh, cash. Yeah, I'll you know. call him. Yeah, and no, I would, because like, he, was, he was hunting like real fast. Yeah. Hey, so. hey, before you piss off, give me Nam's number. Oh, well, it's it's uh, it's oh four one seven. I'm gonna go, okay. But, oh, ring Trev. Yeah. What's that? What you up to? Mm, not much. You heard? I lost it with a fucking dud. Yeah, that ain't my fucking fault. I'm fucking hanging bad. I need a hit. You cover me until I do the job, I'll fucking pay you back, I promise. Yeah, go on, ring Trev then. I've got no fucking money. Yeah. Trev, it's needles. Yeah, yeah, where? Yeah, yeah, Dob Street, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? You better pay me half. Just cover me for now. Fucking stick with me. I'll do this. Job in everything will be fucking sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, go on, lovely. We'll go to Nam. I'll give you a fucking taste. Yeah, you better. I've only got 90 on me. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, Nam, yeah, 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 one spot. Yeah, I have all money, yeah, yeah, where? Yeah, in ten minutes. Maybe I'd lost. You have all the money? Yeah, 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 all you. No, no, ten dollar, ten dollar more. I'll get more money later, later today. No, no. Please, please, I will get more money later, I promise. Next time, no more. Thank you, thank you. It's going here. I've got a spoon. Fuck a spoon. Oh, fuck you. This is good. Questions. What's that about? Nothing. Don't get into any more scrapes, okay?
joke. He's on his way. <laughs> Saved your dumb ass again, have you? Let's get this over. That was Dead End by Flora Giorgio. After the break, a sexy film by Jean-Luc Syndicus, made to order. See you soon. It's time to get sexy. Made to order by Melbourne filmmaker and RMIT graduate Jean-Luc Syndicus. Starring Sarah Derham as the maid and Shanti Brett as the mistress, Will made Sarah obey.
That was made to order. Hmm, yes, a very sexy crime indeed, Jean-Luc. Well, that's all we have time for tonight on Underexposed. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's screenings. We've got lots more coming up on the final episode of Underexposed, where we'll showcase some filmmakers we've already had on this season, but bring back a second film just for you. I'm Naomi Davis. See you next time on Underexposed. So there's something wrong with being gay? No, I don't mean that at all. It's just that it's not that often that you see gay people being so open. I actually think it's really sweet. That is so patronising. Really? Yes, it is. And besides, they're not gay. How do you know? They're not dressed like lesbians. What do you mean? Oh, Beth, you have led a very sheltered life, haven't you? Lesbians dress in a certain way. Well, how do they dress then? Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Right. that bloody thing, will ya? Sorry, dear. How was your sleep? Pleasant dreams? Not bad. Could have been a little wetter. <laughs> Fine. It would look great with that new tie you wore. Yeah, new tie. Also, don't forget to take your lunch. It's on the top shelf in the fridge. Could you also remember to bring some milk home tonight? Nag, nag, nag. I swear she's a freaking verbal terminator. <laughs> you know what? It's over between us.